Right from the moment the news broke about Shanquella Robinson's untimely death, the entire case has been full of several twists and turns. Now, while some of those turns initially gave the impression she was killed by a stranger, new information from the ongoing investigation has just revealed that it might actually have been one of the people close to her. And while this may look like just pointing fingers at first glance, close observation of her life over the past couple of years has just shed some light on her relationships with people and how that seems to have played a role in her ultimate demise. I know you're already connecting some of the dots in your head, so just stick with me here till the end so you don't miss out on any part of it. It is undeniable at this point that all of the stories that have come up about exactly how Shanquella died have been either inaccurate or incomplete. However, the investigation has just shed some light on a part of the case that was wrinkled, which is her friend's involvement. So if you watched the video at the beginning, you could see that it basically establishes that Shanquella actually had an amazing life. Right from the early days of her time in school, she was not only been an Alice student, but she also happened to finish as the best in her school. But even besides the academics, Robinson was also not let out on the social front, as she also landed the title of prom queen towards the end of her time in school. Now, the thing that has remained constant all through her various levels of success here has been her friends, the same ones that she just happened to go on a trip with and wound up dead with little explanation. So, considering that Robinson was always successful as a student, and was also a pretty successful businesswoman, Several people believe envy and jealousy from her friends over these things could have played a part in her ultimate demise. And that theory does check out because she seemed to have been the most successful person in that group, and it didn't even just start now, things have always been like that. In addition to that, there is also the blur that is what happened in Mexico, but even her sister believes some level of foul play was involved with her friends. Specifically, Shane Queller Robinson's sister, Tequila Lon, said friends lied to her family about the details surrounding the 25-year-old's death from the very beginning. As previously reported by New outlets, Shanquella passed away last month while on a trip to Los Cabos, Mexico, with a group of people she believed to be her friends. A day after arriving in the popular tourist city, she was found unconscious in their rental property. She died soon after. Her friends said her death was caused by alcohol poisoning. Long confirmed with Essence in a November 30th interview that the friends even spoke to her and her mother, Salamandra Robinson. I was believing the dude that she went on the trip with because that was her best friend. I didn't think that he would be malicious about anything. I didn't think that he would tell us a lie. I trusted him, said Long. Shanquella's family heard she and the group were involved in a fight while in Mexico, but her friends repeatedly denied the claim. Long shared that, the two young ladies and the male told us that there wasn't any type of fighting going on. We asked him about the fight because we were hearing from other people that they were out there fighting her. They had jumped on her out there. So they all was giving us a story, a lie, until the video surfaced. Later in November, the world saw footage of a naked Shanquella being repeatedly punched by one of the women she considered a friend. Wong said she can't unsee the video of her sister's attack. They had to wake her up out of her sleep because she sleeps naked. She was naked standing there, and here she is fighting this girl. That image of her didn't sit well with me, said Long. An autopsy would later reveal that Shanquella died as a result of a severe back and neck injuries. Upon the FBI joining in on the investigation of her passing, the case was upgraded to a homicide. Mexican authorities have since issued an arrest warrant and are awaiting the extradition of a female suspect, and the charges are forthcoming. However, it wasn't just Shanquella's sister that had something to say about the theory of the young woman's friends having a hand in her death. Shanquella Robinson's mother Salamandra Robinson alleges when her daughter's trip mates visited her, they fixated on the fashions they would wear to the funeral. ABC News reports, Salamandra contends they never shared a fight but sobbed when she mentioned the accusation. After receiving the concerning phone call that her 25-year-old daughter may have had alcohol poisoning, she grew suspicious considering a doctor had not yet examined Shanquella. Salamandra told news outlets the male friend she spoke with said the doctor recommended the Winston-Salem State graduate be taken to the hospital but the friends refused stating the $5,000 fee was too expensive. Salamandra then said her daughter had insurance but the man retorted that the facility only accepted cash. Salamandra reports she received another call explaining when an ambulance arrived her daughter was unresponsive and the paramedics attempted to resuscitate her to no avail. The grieving mother revealed to the news, he said he was sorry that Shanquella had passed. He wasn't even emotional, upset or nothing about it. She continued, it was nothing I could do. It's just my heart just crumbled. I couldn't even get to my child. She was 2,000 miles away. Mexican authorities later released the police report stating Shanquella died of cardiac arrest. As Salamandra grieved, she unexpectedly received an anonymous call stating, they were over there fighting that girl. They was over there fighting her. I don't know why they keep talking about alcohol poisoning. 
When the friends visited Salamandra at her home in Charlotte, North Carolina, she confronted them about the information she received. In her words, they was crying and say they never had a fight. They even sit here and say they was picking out what they was wearing to the funeral. Later, as Shanquella's family organized her funeral arrangements, they received a shocking phone call that countered her friend's account of the events as well as the police report. Salamandra told news outlets, saying, When they called me and the autopsy came back, it all made sense. Salamandra decided to question one of the friends who lived nearby. He broke out in a sweat and he came out of his shirt. He was sweating so bad, it was like it was heating him up. And just when the family thought things couldn't get worse, the video of Shanquella being beaten while in the nude got released on the internet. Her other friends watched and encouraged the altercation. A male friend recording the assault can be heard saying, Quella, can you at least fight back? This in its own right drew up several questions and reactions, one of which came from her father. In truth, the business owner's father was disturbed after viewing the video telling the news. All six of them had an opportunity to stop that situation. Neither one of them didn't do nothing about it. What give them the right to take a life? Didn't give her no kind of care. No help. I can just feel her suffering, ma'am, the last breath that she took out of her body. On November 19th, Shanquilla was laid to rest in her hometown of Charlotte, North Carolina. Hundreds of people lined the streets as a hearse carrying her casket made its way to Macedonia Baptist Church. Now, the family is attempting to remain strong as Salamandra is determined for the facts to be revealed. She said, It's hard but I want the world to see it. I want everything to come out because I want justice for my child. Thanks to social media users pushing the case to the forefront, Mexican authorities have prioritized investigating the incident and punishing the culprits responsible. And in the process of pushing the case, several people have also been giving their thoughts about the whole thing and the possible involvement of her friends. One user wrote, The case of Shanquella Robinson makes me so sick. An innocent woman who was set up and brutalized by her psychopathic friends. You really cannot trust people. Hoping justice comes soon. Please spread awareness as this case needs to be more publicized. Well, we're not sure exactly what the authorities plan to do with all of this information that has come up regarding her friend's involvement in the case, but if they were directly involved, it'll definitely come out. Anyway, that's it for this video. Goodbye.